We're gonna cover the what, the why, the how, all of the things that you need to know about Stream Deck. For instance, what the heck is a Stream Deck for live streaming? And why would you wanna use it? What are some alternatives? Uh, and also I'm gonna give you a little demo on how to set the Stream Deck up. If you are new, please do type new in the comments. I would love, love, love to meet you. And if you are new, then you probably don't know me. I am Luria Petrucci. And I'm from Live Streaming Pros, where I help you create more professional live video that is uniquely you. And this, today, is the show that I do with Ecamm Live. And Ecamm Live is my freaking favorite software for Mac. I've tried them all. I love Mac. I love Ecamm. I like use it day in and day out. And on this show, we actually dig into more about Ecamm and help you increase your live video results. So welcome to Go Live Now. Awesome, I see big guy Linus is new. Don is new. Thank you guys so much for being here. Kay is new. John is new to Stream Deck, so I will fill you in on all of the details for sure, John. But thank you to all of our new people showing up, speaking up, and not being lurkers. Uh, I love, love, love to meet you all. All right, so we had a bunch of questions coming about the countdown timer uh, that we use during our pre-show. And I just wanna let you know, you can actually get the countdown timer for yourself. Somebody said, where can I get this? Well, you can get it yourself right here. This is from Live Streaming Pros, not Ecamm, but we do our graphic designer, the magical Mr. Paul Dixon created graphics for you to use in your own stream. More graphics are coming soon, by the way. So you can get that, put it in your stream, and you'll be good to go. And we also, the music that we use, um, is from Epidemic Sound. We have a 30-day free trial for you guys. If you want to have awesome music in your own streams, you can check it out right here. And we have a whole list of songs. That link is coming to you in the comments right now. And I know that you all want to know more about Ecamm because that's what I'm using today. Uh, we have all of the details about my entire setup all at livestreamingpros.com slash GLN. And you can learn more about Ecamm. You can get a free trial. You can get free training right here. So that's the housekeeping. Are you ready to dig in to what is a freaking uh, stream deck for live streaming? So we're gonna talk about what this is and I'm actually gonna show you, but it's essentially a physical switcher to change cameras, change your assets, et cetera, et cetera. So let me show you what it actually looks like. So we've got the Stream Deck here, and forgive me, my cable is going out. <laughs> so you can see this is a physical switcher. It has, I have this a little propped up so that I could get a better angle. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try not to move this too much. So actually, I'm gonna just set this down because this cable is seriously going out, my apologies. I'm actually gonna do a full on short demo uh, about the Stream Deck here. This will be better. So you can see I have my main cam, right? That's what we're, what that, but when I switch it, it switches, yeah? Uh, and so this is what a Stream Deck does. I have my second cam up there. I have all of the different buttons that I've been pushing, the intro, video, the lower third, uh, close up, I have dance breaks. I mean, I have all of di my different assets. I can hide the comments when I push those. Like we have all the things that I need. I have a mute button um, in order to get, you know, to cough if I need to cough or whatever. So um, look, I love this mug. <laughs> anyway, so if I hit the main cam, guess what? I come back to the main cam. The reason that I love this and why you would want to use something like this, and I just, Susan says, I really need to get one of these push button thingies for my setup with Ecamm. Yes, yes you do, Susan. Um, the reason that you want this is because it is push button simple at that point, right? So it's really easy to just uh, have it physically, you know, you have the physical touch and you just be, you're able to push all of the buttons and not mess around with the mouse. And so that's huge. If you want a push button simple production that you can do all of the fancy stuff 
everything that you saw me do before the countdown timers, the little animated uh, like side graphic, all of those different things can be done by setting it up in Ecamm first, and then you create the buttons through the Stream Deck, and then you just, you're just able to push stuff. And you, you maybe have to look down briefly to find your bearing, but what I love is, actually, let me show you this, because what I love about this is that um, I, I set it up so that the main things that I need, I can kind of just like feel, right? I don't necessarily have to look at um, the at the buttons. Sometimes I do, but uh, I can just feel around. And I know that if I'm you know down here in the corner, this button right here, it's just all touch. I know that's my mute button, right? So it, it has all of the capability. Um, and somebody says, uh, Nika said, does it only switch cameras or also scenes like add an overlay, share screen, etc." Yes, exactly. It does all of the things that you need it to. So if I have my PIP right here, this will show you the shared screen PIP, right? So I've created the scenes in Ecamm and then I set my, e my uh, stream deck up to be able to do everything that I need it to. So what are some alternatives in terms of, um, in terms of the Stream Deck? One, you can do the Stream Deck app, um, and that's just your phone. And uh, so your, ju just your phone is like, you can use all of the, you can do most of the things on the Stream Deck app for iPhone versus the PC or sorry, versus the physical button. Um, and then you also have um, X keys as an alternative for PC users. Those, if you're gonna be using PC and vMix, we recommend X keys for that setup and Stream Deck for the Mac. I see lots of questions coming through. If you do have questions, please do type Q in the, com or in the, the front of your question. And our team is gathering those questions so that we make sure that we answer them all. Okay, so um, let's talk about how to set up the demo. And I think we will tackle most of the questions that you have just by seeing this demo. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna go to my PIP screen here. Um, actually, first of all, I'm actually going to show you what I have in Ecamm here. So in Ecamm, we've got the um we've got the whole you know setup right here so we have all of our scenes every single thing that i want to put into my production and if you did not watch the show flow the production flow video that we've um done uh, all about how to set up your production flow that would be a perfect combo video to watch with this video okay um and so then you want to make sure that you uh, here, let me go out of here. So you have your scenes right here, okay? And then you're able to kind of set everything up. So I have this, right? So I have like, okay, we have the, the animated countdown timers and this is an animated thing. Now what I wanna do is be able to go to the stream deck and I want to go to my PIP show you my pip here. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Um, and then this is as soon as you plug in the stream deck, you actually get this whole um, software to be able to set up your stream deck. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. I, my team is saying that I'm, uh, do, I'm, I'm jitter. I'm jittery in a little bit. So uh, hold on just a second. Is it that bad? Yeah, you're maxing out your CPU. Okay, I'll just unplug. Hold on, let me unplug the... Uh, I think I unplugged the right one. <laughs> we'll see. All right, looks fine to, looks fine to, to some of the people. So I'm gonna keep... No, it doesn't. No? They don't know what they're looking for. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna yeah, no. close out some stuff. I just uh, I just unplugged a USB cam. Yeah. yeah that, there you go. That okay. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Bye. All right. So this is the Stream Deck software and we're going to keep, uh, you know, we're going to, I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. So right now you see that 
this software layout actually looks exactly like my stream deck itself, right? So when I showed you my stream deck, it looks exactly, oops, hold on, actually, yeah, it, it looks exactly like this. So I have my main cam, right? I pushed the pip, we showed you the hide comment, I showed you the mute button. So this is all super, super simple. What you do in order to set up one, and in the software, literally, when you plug in your Stream Deck for the first time, it's going to open it up and guide you, but it's like two seconds and you're in and you're ready to go. Um, so you're going to click run scene and you're just going to drag it over to a button. Now, all you need to do is title this, um, you know, what, what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to do... Uh, second cam, okay? And then we're going to select the scene in Ecamm that we've already set up, which is my second cam. And somebody asked earlier, like, where do you get the buttons? I'll show you a cool trick here in just a second. It automatically pulls in an image of what that scene looks like. And so uh, if I, so I can just use that or um, I can actually add my own icons as well. So one thing that you can, I'll, I'll show you that here in just a second, but that's how simple it is to set up. How for, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Demo mode, demo mode. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so <laughs> I always forget demo mode. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. <laughs> All right, so when you have your setup here, um, you're, that's, that's how, how simple it is. So did you see, you saw that still in demo mode, but let me go, let me just show you another one. Okay. We're going to take run scene and we're going to put it down here and then we're going to title it, title <laughs> it, uh, and this is going to be the timer, um, uh, call to action, right? So the timer video that I had. So then I'm going to just select the item and this is the timer side scene that I've already set up in Ecamm and voila, that's what it looks like. Okay, so let me kind of come back to the main cam, right? We're going to take a look at this second cam. So when I uh, hit these two new buttons, well, that's the button that's highlighted, right? So the second cam is actually highlighted green right here. And then if I want to go to the timer call to action, hi over there. <laughs> yeah. So this is super simple. How easy is all of this? Very, very easy. Um, now let me show you another cool little trick here, because if you want to set up your own icons, you can create an icon and just create, uh, set it from the file, or you can create new icon and you can get this little um, kind of, it's, it's just a, it's a website that Elgato has that you can then kind of create your own icon. Look at all of these icons that they have available for you. So you can either have a designer or do it yourself through Canva or something like that and, and load that file in, or we can just choose a file. So let's say, um, let's say Chrome. Chrome is a good one, right? So this is like, this is easy for me to visually see on my stream deck. Oh, guys, by the way, this is what I want to actually, um, this is what I want to show. I want to show my Chrome, right? And so like visually you want these things to just help you run your production without having to think about it. So then we're just going to save key and it's going to ask you to uh, do, uh, to save that. I'm going to type Chrome and then we're going to save. And then we're going to come back into the um, file here. And let's say this was set to do my shared screen. Then I just uh, set from file, Chrome, open, bam, that's what it looks like now. And of course, coming to the second cam, ah, <laughs> stupid cable, I'm gonna have to get a new cable. Uh, then you see the Chrome icon. So you can do a lot with this. You can make it look however you want and you can uh, just, you have a ton of flexibility. Now, the other thing that you'll notice on this stream deck is this little up arrow. This, um, this 
folder that I'm in right now is my Ecamm Go Live Now show. If I click this, I go to the main uh, production, which is my live streaming pros show. Yeah, so I have all of my assets set up and ready to go for live streaming pros shows. And then if I click this folder button right here, go live now, I've got an entirely different setup and flow ready to go without having to set up each and every time. This is freaking awesome. I love this thing. I really do. I, you know, I think it's just super simple. The interface is fantastic. Um, and link is in the description, by the way, if you're looking to get it. Uh, and then also you have different sizes. So you can go for a smaller one. This is the XL that I've been showing you. But yeah, you can, you can do all of the different things um, that you want. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> like it's, it's very simple. So if you have any questions, we're going to go into Q and A for now, but if you're watching the replay, be sure to join us for this Ecamm go live now show every Thursday at 10 AM Pacific. And for live streaming pros, I'm live five days a week at 10 AM Pacific. So join us over on the live streaming pros channels as well. And we'll all have lots of fun together, learn a lot, and uh, you'll keep making improvements to your live streams. That is my entire goal. All right, we'll see you next time.